This video will show you how to replace the cable on all Dutton Lainson electric winches in the 9000 and 12000 strong arm series. Please note, if you own a 5000 or 7000 series winch, watch a different video on our YouTube channel that describes this process for those winches. We offer many different features on our strong arm winches that your specific winch may or may not have, including a clutch lever that allows you to put the winch in freewheel mode, a pre-installed remote like you see here that allows you to run the winch a distance away from it, and the option to connect your winch directly to your car battery, 12 volt DC power, or to a regular wall outlet, 120 volt AC power. Because of all these varying options, the process of replacing the cable can also vary from winch to winch. So follow the upcoming instructions only when your particular winch is described in the top left corner of the screen. Regardless of which 9 or 12,000 strong arm winch you have, your first step will be to take off the existing cable, which begins with removing the winch's cover. If you have a DC winch with a remote, look for a pigtail like this one coming out of the back of the winch. Get a standard pair of pliers and pull out the strain relief bushing so it loosely sits on the remote cord. If you have a DC winch that doesn't have a remote, pull the switch and the attached wiring harness out of the cover side. If your winch has a clutch, grab a number one Phillips screwdriver and completely loosen the two screws holding the clutch handle in its place. Then remove the handle and its screws from the winch. Now use a 3 8 inch wrench to remove all four bolts in the corners of the winch's cover. Pull open the front of the cover and lift it off of the winch. If you have an AC model, slip the three motor wires out of the frame clip on the side of the winch. On both AC and DC models, we recommend leaving all of the wires connected to the cover while you replace the cable instead of disconnecting them. Next, if your winch is like this one and doesn't have a clutch, get a small flathead screwdriver and pry off the E-ring from the top of the pinion gear on the gear side of the winch. Pull off the gear itself and set both it and the E-ring aside. If your winch does have a clutch, turn it clockwise so its end is pointing to the ground. Grab the end of your old cable and simply pull it all the way off of the winch's reel. Now grab a 7 16 inch wrench, then loosen and take off the nut that is holding the cable clamp in place. Remove the cable clamp and the carriage bolt, then pull the old cable out of the reel. Before installing the new cable on your winch, the process will be easier if you use a standard set of pliers to put a kink about 2 inches from the end of it until it looks like this. Rotate the main gears until the reel slot that you just pulled the old cable out of is facing the bottom front of the winch. Slide your new cable through this slot, then it is crucial that you also slide the cable under the outside of the reel. Then. Rotate the gears again so the cable faces the top front of the winch. Use your hands to bend the cable at the kink, then slip this newly created loop between the winch's reel and base. Insert the carriage bolt through both the reel square hole and the loop in the cable. Set the cable clamp on top of the bolt with the cable under its winged edges. Put the nut on the bolt, then firmly tighten it with your 7 16 inch wrench. The entire cable clamp area should now look like this. Now, if your winch doesn't have a clutch, put the pinion gear back in its spot on the gear side of the winch, then pry the E-ring back on top of the pinion gear with your flathead screwdriver. If your winch does have a clutch, turn it back towards the front of the winch. At this point, we strongly recommend for safety reasons that you reinstall the winch's cover before winding the new cable onto it. Soon we will show you the cable being wound onto a winch without a cover, but that is only for clarity's sake in this particular video. So to reinstall the cover, open it up and set it on top of the winch. If you have an AC winch, you will need to put the green, white, and black motor wires back in the frame clip on the gear side of the winch. Now this is very important. Your winch could experience a serious electrical malfunction if any of these three motor wires are nicked by the winch's gears that spin when the winch is turned on. 
so it is vital that you tuck the motor wires into the very corner of the cover as far away from the gears as you can get them when you reinstall the cover on an AC winch. When reinstalling the cover on a DC powered winch that has a remote, be sure to fit the red connector back into its cutout. Next, get the two long cover screws and use your 3 8 inch wrench to tighten them into the corners of the gear side of the winch. Then, grab the two short cover screws and screw them into the opposite side's corners. If your winch is DC with a remote, get the pigtail's bushing back into its hole using both your pliers and your fingers if needed. On a DC winch without remote, snap the switch and harness back into place on the gear side of the winch. If your winch has a clutch, look for the biggest hole on the handle and the biggest hole on the clutch, line them up, press the handle onto the winch, then tighten both of the handle screws. Now it is time to install the new cable onto your winch. Remember, you should have just finished reinstalling the winch's cover. We're currently showing a coverless winch just so you can visually see how the cable should look as it's being wound. Connect your winch to power and turn it on to begin winding the new cable. This is a slow process, but be sure to firmly hold and pull back on the cable the entire time. This will help ensure that the cable winds onto the reel in even layers. Once you've wound the entire length of the cable, get a standard zip tie and use it to fasten the cable's hook to the bottom of the winch's base to finish the cable replacement process. Thanks for watching. As always, if this video was a help to you, please like it and subscribe to our channel to check out more of our videos. For more information on all of our products, visit our website at duttonlainson.com.